I was going to attempt to do today was to show you the snow which is outside that window um, and I've realized it's too white and bright for me to uh, keep the video camera focused on it so unfortunately I won't be able to show you but um, it has been snowing here So, um, as many of you probably know by now, I think most of you know this about me, I work at a school, and, um, recently I have been, we've been having a lot of reasons to dress up as various things, um, a few weeks ago I was the cat in the hat, and I made the costume myself and that was a big hit with the kids and then um you know there was St. Patrick's Day and I dressed up for that and now what I'm working on this probably looks like nothing to you right now but I'll explain is um I'm going to be the moose from if you give a moose a muffin so I already have one thing which you can't see in the other room, um, I have a hat, which is like a, I don't know the name of the type of hat it is, but it's a big fluffy hat that ties under your neck, or straps under your neck, and it's basically a big moose, and then it has big antlers sticking out, so it's really funny, but it's, it's uh, not like real antlers, it's a, it's basically like a stuffed animal but on your head, if that makes sense. So, um, to go with that, I am making some of the items that the moose wears in If You Give a Moose a Muffin. I also apologize, I just ate um, dinner. So, as many of you know, sometimes when you try to make videos, your stomach makes weird uh, grumbly noises. So, if you hear those, I apologize. delicious um, vodka and I think, what did I put in here? Vodka and grapefruit. Yeah, it's that kind of day. Vodka and grapefruit. So I'm going to have some of that real quick. Okay. So what I thought I would share with you and this What I need to do So Actually let me back up This is the book If you give a moose a muffin um, This is my school name So I've taken it off But as you can see the moose has these muffins. He has hooves that look like this, and he wears this flower. I'm also going to be wearing a red sweater, like what the moose has. And the hat I bought basically looks like this moose, but it goes on your head. So I won't be um, painting my face or anything like I have in the past. But I figured this would be a cheap way to um, do this. So, <clears throat> what I did is, and I've done this for lots of other things, like I printed the template I have for the bow for the cat in the hat, which I made myself, but I printed it off the internet. So, I found the book cover online, and I took the image that I wanted, so I did, if you have a Mac, I believe it's Command Shift 4, and you can actually um, outline on a screen, a portion of the screen that you want to take a picture of. You guys probably already know this, but for example, right now, watching this screen, if you were on a Mac and you paused your video right now and you wanted to take a picture of me 
with uh, just my thumb and this muffin, you could hit Command Shift 4 and a, draw a square box and it would just take a picture of this. So that's what I did. I took a picture of the muffins which actually appear stacked like that on the cover. And then what I did is, I believe I used the top muffin because as you can see it doesn't have the steam or smoke, whatever you want to call it, I think it's steam. There's no steam running across the front of this muffin, so we took a picture of this muffin. They all appear to be roughly the same size, but to me they seem like maybe slightly larger. So this one's big, medium, smaller. So they, they seem to gradiate in size. So I took a picture of that muffin, and then what I did is using... Uh, you can use Office, Microsoft Office. I use Word. Uh, you can also do this in Photoshop. I have iPhoto. Um, either one. You can remove the background. So any of the extra stuff that was in the picture, I removed. And then I printed this image in three varying sizes. So they're all slightly different. This one's the biggest. So... Um, I very lightly, you can't see, but I marked that one number one. Um, this one's number two. It's very, very slightly larger. And this one is number three. It's the smallest one. So the idea is that they're going to end up going like this. Yeah, and I'm going to wear them. Um... I am also very aware, and you don't need to point out to me because I'm going to do it for you, that these muffins are slightly um, phallic <laughs> now that they are all blown up in their glory. And also, what I'm about to show you is also very humorous. So, um, if you would like to leave me a funny message, that's fine. But if it's like a rude message to just point out the obvious, what I already know, then please just don't waste your time. So, I've got the muffins. The next thing I needed, um, I decided I was going to wear the, um, sorry, my arm is itching me. I decided I was going to wear the hooves as well. Um, and I had, I wish I hadn't thrown it away, but you know, in shoes, shoes sometimes come with those cardboard inserts that are the shape of the inside of the shoe um, and usually they're just pretty cheap pieces of cardboard but I recently bought some pretty nice shoes and they had an insert that was an actual like pretty hard cardboard I don't know it sounds stupid to call it fancy but kind of a fancy insert which was the actual shape of the inside of the shoe like top to bottom so I took that out and the idea was I was gonna put that over my hand and put the um, hooves like glue them over the top and then attach them to my hands with like elastic or something and when I do like this my hands were hidden under the um, uh, what's the word the shoe the shoe insert so it looked as if I had hooves Unfortunately, I uh, tried and tried. I, I printed out some hooves earlier, and I had cut them, uh, cut slits in them to make them so that I could bend them over the curved cardboard, and I even tried shaving down the cardboard with like a, um, a box, a box cutter. Yeah, that's the, that's the word, <laughs> a box cutter, um, and nothing seemed to work, so I was not able to get that to be the shape I wanted, so, um, moving on, I thought I would do with the hooves what I'm gonna do with the muffin, so get your laughs out of the way, <laughs> here are the hooves, um, 
if you turn them like this, I like to say they're like someone's backside. Except, um, they also could be something else that I've already been laughed at about. But I hope that the children won't notice. <laughs> so, that's that. The last thing I needed to, um, enlarge, I guess, and remove the background is the flower that the moose wears. It goes like this? No. I'm looking at this backwards right now. I think it goes like, yeah, like that. So, what I did to these, I cut them out. I outlined them with black permanent marker just to make them jump out. Um, I basically just followed the shade or shading that was already on these pictures. I just outlined them with black. Then the next thing I did, I traced them onto some cardboard I had. It was just cardboard from uh, boxes I had around the house. And I traced each thing. So this has a number two on the back because this is the number two um, cupcake. So here's two. And the idea is that they, I'm going to glue them to here so that they're solid, and eventually, I haven't bought it yet, but before Friday, I need to buy pins, P-I-N-S, backing, like, if you wore a pin on your shirt, um, you know what I'm talking about, a pin, uh, then I need to glue a pin fastener, I'm not sure, it on the back of here and that way I can wear this like a pin so I haven't decided yet I might I think what I might do once I get them glued on the cardboard is to attach them and glue all three stacked together like this um, and then just put a pin in the middle muffin so uh, I'll cross that when I get to it so for now, what I need to do is to glue these onto the cardboard. In the meantime, I was going to paint the cardboard all around the edges, and um, I don't know why, I just wasn't paying attention. I didn't mean to paint the tops. I guess I just kind of got into it. But the idea was I was going to just paint the edges black to match this outline, so um, it wasn't as noticeable from the side that these are on cardboard. But I didn't have black. So I spent about 10 minutes mixing what was the darkest color that I could make with red, yellow, and blue. And I mostly used like a dark... Oh, I read a lot online about how to make black. But if I try to explain it to you, I'm going to go off on a tangent. So anyways, this was as dark as I could get it without having to go out and buy black. So, um painted all of the shapes that I've cut out. I painted them, painted the edges just so it wasn't as noticeable that they were cardboard. I also have scissors. I don't know why I brought scissors over here. Oh, that's delicious. Okay. So I have a glue stick here. It's a clear glue stick. I don't want to use liquid glue for this because it will make the, you know, how paper rises or gets lumpy with liquid glue. Um, one way you could avoid that would be if you very thinly painted the glue on, but that's messy and I don't have time for that. So I just am going to make sure this is number two. It is number two. This is number two. And, you, and when I do things like this, rather than put the glue on the paper, I, I want to put the glue on the cardboard first so I can lay the paper how I want it. So that is what I need to do.
okay if I get some on the side because it's going to dry. But I want to get this as thin as possible, so I'm going to um, kind of rub it out with my hand. If you didn't have um, a glue stick like what I have, it would be okay to use the liquid glue. You just want to make sure that you don't put it on really thick. You want to put it really thin, and I'm, I would even say you should give it time to dry a little bit or get a slightly tacky like um, eyelash glue just so that you're less likely to have all the lumps um, that wet liquid glue would cause on your paper. Okay, so I'm going to get the edges really well. And I'm going to place it, uh, I guess I'll do, I'll do the top first because the top has the more difficult shape. Oops, my battery's going to die. Okay, um, so let me place this shape first. Close enough. Okay, it's pretty well lined up. It was actually really hard to cut the cardboard with scissors. I used like the box cutter and some other methods of cutting it, and it was actually very difficult. So, I think my recommendation if you tried this would be. Don't use a thick cardboard like what I did. You'd probably want to use something like maybe a, a Lean Cuisine box or, you know what I mean, like thin, thinner cardboard because this was really hard. So I have a little extra around the edge, which is okay. It's going to dry clear. And also, um, I can go over that again with the black permanent marker or if I happen upon some black paint. I could use that. So this one's done. All I need um, to do the rest of the week is to buy the pin that I need to put on the back. And you notice I'm like rubbing like this. It's to, I've just always done that with glue. It's to get things really flat. So that looks just like the muffin on the cover of the book. That's the middle muffin. So I'm going to set that way. Let's just do whatever's next. So the next thing I have is the flower. I have this flower shape, which is extremely difficult to cut with the regular old scissors. So let me line this up. I'm going to have to play with this for a minute. Hmm. Am I stupid? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so this will look like that. Play it like this. Okay. Hopefully I don't get cut off on this video like I tend to do. I talk too much and get distracted and then I get cut off. Okay, so that was easy. I just want to smooth out the glue so there's not any lumps. Okay, 
it also warms it up a little and it's easier to spray. Now I'm gonna place this. I just want to make sure it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to make sure that I don't have paper hanging off of the side because I don't want it to get crushed. This is also, I think, a good idea if you, well, maybe I won't speak on that too much right now. I can show you the cat in the hat costume in another video, but it was really easy relatively easy for me to make and it pretty much was my own idea and it was very inexpensive to make. This is even cheaper. Um, it was free for me to print this and I already had cardboard and glue, permanent marker, and all I had to buy was the hat and it cost like $7 on Amazon and free shipping. So I've got that. So this will need a pen as well. So that one's done. Set that aside. Um, why not? Let's do a hoof. Hoof, hoof. Okay, so this is number one. I labeled it number one. Okay, so, uh, my alarm just started going off, which is totally random because I didn't know I had an alarm. So, okay, so number one. Moving right along. If you were watching my last video and I cut off. I apologize. If you're just finding out about this video, please go back to the um, previous one and figure out what the heck I'm doing. So I'm going to put glue all over this cardboard. Get the edges really well. Right. We'll smooth that out. Right now, I'll place it. I think it's easiest if you do the detailed parts. First, so you can line them up how you want, and then smooth it out. Okay, so now that one's finished. That is the hook. So, uh, in case I get cut off, what I'm doing is for the three different muffins, I've already finished one, and for the flour, I'm going to attach a pin, P-I-N, fastener at the back so I can pin them onto my outfit. And then for the hooves, what I'm going to do is with silicone or some kind of adhesive, maybe hot glue on the back, I thought I would get a... Um, like a, a hair tie, but not a tight hair tie, like a, one of those cheap, fluffy hair ties, and glue it to the back so I can just elastic it over my wrist. So it'll look like I have hooves. Kind of creepy, but I thought that would be cool. So on to muffin number one. This is the biggest one. I need to glue it. I wonder if any of you guys watch The Walking Dead. I do. I am a big, loyal viewer of The, Wa the Walking Dead. I was very hesitant. To start watching it in the beginning, I thought it was really stupid. Um, my boyfriend and his 
friends had been starting to watch it, and they had me start watching it also. After a few episodes, I started to, I didn't think it was great, but I started to like it. And here we are, and I'm still watching, so I won't ruin, ruin anything for any of you guys who maybe have just started watching or aren't caught up or something, but I will say, without giving too much away, I almost gave up watching it, and I feel like some of you might have had similar experience, because at a certain point, I won't say when, but at a certain point, I felt like things got pretty stagnant, and there was other shows on TV that I would rather watch instead, um, like I'm not a huge Breaking Bad fanatic, so there was just, I almost gave up on The Walking Dead, but I'm glad I saw it through, because I'm starting to like what's happening now. That's kind of what I hoped for. Okay, so here's the second muffin finish. So, so far it's going to go like this. Then like this with the overlap. Um, if you wanted like, to use this long term, I guess you could laminate these before you use them. These pieces of paper to keep them clean. I thought about doing that, but I decided against it because um, I don't know when I will use this costume again. It's possible, but I'm not that concerned with the paper uh, getting dirty. If it does, I can just make Move out my glue. I would like to say that um, I appreciate. I do this backwards? No. I appreciate how patient some of you are with me, with my videos. I know I have been making videos for a pretty long time, which a lot of you guys don't, probably don't know, but um, they just take, it's hard to find time to do this, and I'm, uh, I'm not like Ilsa or Maria, and I haven't made this sort of like a career. I, well, I don't know that it's a career for Maria, but they dedicate a lot of time, and um, they make it a priority to find time. It's not that I don't think of you guys as a priority, but um, I do have a job, and you know, there's a lot going on. So for those of you who have always been patient with me, I appreciate it. I don't feel pressured to make videos quickly, and I know some people uh, resent me for that, and if they do, that's fine. They can feel free to unsubscribe, um, but I do make new videos. It's not like I've disappeared, so it just takes me longer than the average bear. So for those of you who have stuck around and who watch my videos, I really appreciate it. I'm glad um, that I seem to be helping some of you because I certainly love watching ASMR videos and in the years that I've been watching them, um, I have noticed specifically this year, I have finally, I think, broken the cycle of insomnia um, because before I could watch a video sometimes I would have to watch five six seven videos before I was calm and relaxed enough to go to sleep uh, but now depending who I'm listening to like I have certain favorites that I like particular videos I can go to sleep almost instantly, especially I've been really tired lately because of work, and 
I can watch a video literally the other night for three minutes. I know it was at the three minute mark, and then I don't remember anything. So, you guys are definitely doing, doing things right, <laughs> those of you who are making videos. Alright, so there are all of my pieces. I have the hooves. The muffins. One, two, and three. Those will be worn pins on my outfit, and then I have the flowers, so um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this, maybe when I get the pins and the adhesive, maybe I'll make a video of attaching these, my plans for future videos, if you're curious, yes, I'm still planning on another hairbrushing video, I know a lot of you like that, it seemed to be popular, and I got several messages from people asking for a longer hairbrushing video and um, specific ways of brushing my hair and things like that, and I will oblige some of those, however, you guys know I'm not keen on uh, showing my face, it's not because I'm like embarrassed of my face or anything like that but for just privacy reasons I think it's smart nowadays not to do that and not to show your face so I know some people do and that's great for them and that works for them but that doesn't work for me so if you're curious what I look like I mean there are ways you can find out I do have some video in one of my videos if you're interested to go and Look through all of them. I think I've shown my face in like one or two, uh, like actual picture of my face. If you're curious, but if you don't really care, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste your time looking for that. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am exhausted, so <laughs> I'm gonna go relax. Hope you guys are having a good week. If it's snowing where you are, please be safe. I've almost had like three wrecks today because people are idiots in the snow. And, um, I don't know. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.